I organized the downstairs toilet. I fired the humming cleaner. You enjoyed that. I hoovered the car. I put up all your certificates and I don't make you feel guilty for not having sex with me. I am not a bad guy. I just have a bad personality. It's not my fault. <laughs> and Brett is here with us this morning. The summer of Brett. Oh my How does God. that feel? From Vogue magazine. It's that, not just some random website saying this. I know, I know. It was. It's, I'm, I'm used to random websites <laughs> saying much harsher things than that. So I don't even get that from random websites, let alone Vogue. No, I was. That was amazing. It was crazy. Yeah, just for them to say that. Uh, about me. I love it. Let's know. talk about Fleabag. It's nominated for a whopping 11 Emmy Awards. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. People love to hate you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> talk about your character. Um, well, he is, you know, I have a lot of sympathy for him. Mm. I, he's, I, you know, he hates himself. He's an alcoholic. His marriage has been falling apart for quite some time. And uh, you know, Phoebe and I talk a lot about how, like, they're actually, like, my character and her character are the most similar on the show to each other because they both feel alienated from everybody else around them and then use inappropriate humor to connect to people. Only Martin's inappropriate humor is maybe a little too inappropriate yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time. And, and it's just like, yeah, I think when, you know, He's just caught in this downward spiral and he's blaming other people and blaming himself. So that creates all this rage. Yeah. You know? Let's talk about Stranger Things because yeah. I loved your character. I don't want to give away too much for people who, who may not have seen the entire season yet. But is it true that you actually learned Russian for the role? I learned my lines. <laughs> yeah, oh, I learned so my I Russian finished. lines. So I didn't learn the team. whole language. Oh. No, actually, a woman came up to me the other day and started just speaking to me in Russian. <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm sorry. Do you need help? <laughs> That's how convincing you were, though. Incredible. Well, thank you. Thank you. I had a very good coach. You were actually speaking Russian words. You weren't just sounding Russian. No, I wasn't doing gibberish. Yeah, no, I mean, and I and I knew what the other actor, uh, what Alec was saying to me. But, um, yeah, beyond that, no, oh, no, 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 nothing, that's nothing. Amazing. And I don't remember any of those lines either. Oh, that's What's funny, your mindset when you're acting out? I mean, do, you, do the English lines just sort of, you know you got those and you just focus on the Russian lines? Or how does your brain it's do like, all of it? It's like you're like, Russian, Russian, Russian lines, <laughs> Russian lines, Russian lines, and then you get those and you're like, oh, yeah, my English lines. <laughs> that's crazy. But then they do somehow come even easier then after you've mm -hmm. been learning the Russian like that. And then before you leave us this morning, you're also in the new season of Mr. Mercedes. I am. You are a busy man. Yeah, playing oh, Roland goodness. Finkelstein, a lawyer, which is every the, Jewish says... mother's dream. <laughs> <laughs> so would that be your, your most, I'd say, sane yeah. character you've played? Uh, he's my most well-adjusted person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not a weirdo. Of course, he has, like, his little things, like every person does, right. but um, he, I would say, by far is my most well-adjusted character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is is it is it true that that you went on tour with the dead? I did. You're a deadhead, sure. like through and through. I mean, I wouldn't say that I am still. I do like the Grateful Dead still. Mm, I yeah. still, you know, but uh, yeah, it, like late in high school, my mother went let me go on their last tour. Hmm. I went on a blue school bus with like a hippie family. <laughs> And <laughs> I saw the last two performances of Jerry Garcia before he really? died. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Would you have described yourself as a hippie? Then, yeah, I think so. Hmm. Yeah. Which no, means I wasn't anymore. doing that well. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little lost. I was like so focused on acting. And for those few months, I was like, well, maybe I'll be a drifter. And they're not good. <laughs> not great. Look at me now. <laughs> and look at me now. Look very, me. very. You turned it around. Thank you. You're just having a heck of a summer. I mean, an acting conservatory will do that for you. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this hippie stuff. You want to be an actor? Get rid of that. Yeah. So enjoy okay. your brand of humor. I hope you come back. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I love you guys. I love yeah, this show. It's really an honor to be here. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so nice to have you here. See Thank how you. Good he is it acting? Thank you. And, said, <laughs> and we were like, yeah, I'm he's serious. Just, like he I'm serious. He's yes. a great actor. <laughs> so, Fleabag seasons one and two are now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. So, make sure you check it out.